I'm Graham Spanier, president of Penn State. For the last 15 years, I have given an annual State of the University address. But this year, I'm doing something different. I'm doing a series of videos, each focusing on a distinct group of Penn State people, students, faculty, staff, and alumni. This video focuses on Penn State students. We are. Penn State. We are. We are. We are. Penn State. We are. Nosotros somos. We are. <laughs> Family. United. Energetic. Proud. Happy. <laughs> Unified. We are a community. I think Penn State students are hardworking, outgoing, fun, reliable, loyal. Blue and white. Passionate. Motivated. Scholars. Philanthropic. Penn State students, we're all filled with so much pride, and whenever I come here on campus, I just feel like I'm at home. Today, our students are among the most academically accomplished in Penn State's 155-year history. And their accomplishments span the arts, sciences, engineering, communications, information technology, business, law, and medicine. Demand to attend Penn State has never been greater. If there's one word that sums up the State of the University students in 2010, it's impressive. We opened the NASDAQ markets and the day rallied for record high. We are in fellowships and awards from the Department of Energy, the National Science Foundation, the John Simon Guggenheim Memorial Foundation, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The Environmental Protection Agency ranked Penn State third in the nation of colleges and universities in the amount of green power it uses. Meanwhile, we enjoyed electricity in Paternalville this year. This year, Penn State students played at Carnegie Hall. This past year was a year of records. Last year, we received 114,000 applications for admission. Enrollment now tops 95,000, with students going to 24 campuses and the world campus. We are Penn State! We are the most diverse population in Penn State's history. We have the largest number of graduates ever. It has also been a year of exploration. As a result of a major philanthropic gift, Penn State launched the Presidential Leadership Academy. We took a trip to Washington, D.C., where we focused on national security issues and took on the challenge of developing new ideas to curb excessive alcohol consumption at colleges and universities. Excellence characterizes Penn State students and our programs, and we are one of the most comprehensive universities in the world. Penn State consistently ranks in the top tier of public and national universities. And we have about 50 programs ranked in the top 20 nationwide. We are first in the Big Ten for National Science Foundation Student Fellowships. With an 89% graduate success rate for Penn State student athletes, we're near the top nationally. Penn State students are significantly involved in community service, service learning, and philanthropy. Students work for Project Haiti to bring relief to earthquake-damaged communities. Penn State law students in the Civil Rights Appellate Clinic filed two briefs and a petition with the United States Supreme Court. And Thon raised a record-setting $7.8 million to help conquer childhood cancer. In recent years, Penn State has worked to internationalize the university through increased study abroad opportunities, curriculum development, and enrollment of international students. From this house to the world, we will go hand in hand. We're walking out now. From this house. Studying abroad in Rome exposed me to new and exciting cultures by giving me the opportunity to live and study in a modern city built on ancient foundations. 
We're trying to bring access to healthcare for people in rural and impoverished areas throughout the world. Can you tell us what is wrong with your arm? Nikki, you don't know what To go overseas and apply what you know and try to help out doing what we can. That's definitely something any engineer should do. When it comes to spirit, Penn State students are unequal. The women's volleyball team became the first team to win three, three consecutive national titles. The men's and women's fencing team won back-to-back -back NCAA championships. That's right, back-to-back. Since Penn State joined the Big Ten, our teams have won 19 NCAA championships. That's more than double the next highest Big Ten institutions. Penn State offers over 700 clubs and organizations. If you can't find one you like, you can start your own. For instance, I'm one of the co-founders of the Dominican Student Association. This year, we celebrated the public launch of the largest fundraising campaign in our history, for the future, the campaign for Penn State students. Through philanthropy, we can continue to fulfill Penn State's historic land-grant mission, while at the same time preparing our students for leadership in a world vastly different than any of our founders could have imagined. The goal for the campaign is $2 billion, and we're over halfway there. This campaign will affect every Penn State student now and for the future. School is very important, and the fact that I have a scholarship shows that someone else values that same importance on school as well as I do. For Penn State students, the state of the university is ambitious, creative, resourceful, rewarding, and proud. We are Penn State. Woo, woo, woo. Echna Penn State. We are Penn State. We are the future. The future. The class of 2010. We are Penn State. This video focuses on Penn State's faculty. He was an excellent professor who modeled a life of service with his own life choices. He inspired an entire I've generation. never met another teacher like her who cares so much and so passionately about our students' successes. I never truly appreciated the... The professors I met and the experiences I had altered my life's direction, I believe, for the better. Penn State faculty represent the heart of our university, and their teaching resonates with students for a lifetime. Penn State was the foundation, really. As you move through life, you really do understand, you know, that the foundation really is the most important because you cannot stand without a foundation. The professors that I had here, I think, helped me to understand what it means to have a position in the world. I think they helped us understand how to get along in the world, and they certainly gave us many of the skills that were required. Each year, our faculty brings honor to Penn State through teaching, research, and service. And this past year has been no exception. At Penn State, we're researching plant root systems that may produce enough food to feed the world's expanding population. There you only see one thing. I work with proteins called enzymes that break down proteins in our bodies. The ultimate goal is to cure, prevent, or lessen the severity of disease. So the potential is very great. It's not often that we get what we would predict, right? When I teach my classes, it's important to me that I can convey that sense of excitement to my students. I want them to realize that it's not just book learning, that there is a sense of adventure and a sense of discovery. My group focuses on coral reef research. We are studying how corals can adapt to increasing seawater temperatures that accompany global climate change. And we're using microbial fuel cells to help clean water and generate electricity in developing countries. At Penn State, our 8,700 full and part-time faculty members have had a productive year. This year, Penn State's research expenditures approached $800 million, placing Penn State among the top research institutions in the nation. 
We received international recognition with a MacArthur Fellowship, a Guggenheim Fellowship, a Ben Franklin Medal, and two Sloan Fellowships. Penn State has 45 faculty fellows of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, nine members of the National Academy of Engineering, 15 members of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and 13 members of the National Academy of Sciences. But our greatest achievements take place with students in our classrooms, labs, and in the field. My research relies heavily on the participation of undergraduates. From the beginning of the project, uh, they are involved in its goals, in measurement instrument selection, and contribute heavily to the success of each of the projects. And sometimes they're actually learning new things that they may not have learned in their classroom. Did you pull them from the database? Or yes, they came from the database. And in many different ways, not just the technology, and but the communication skills, the language skills, the research skills, and uh, those things all go a long way. Your goal is to remember more information from what you read. Penn State students are surrounded by the media. They use the media all the time. And so in the classroom, what we try to do is understand what are some of the implications of that? How are the media changing technologically? How are the media changing economically? And what does this mean for our democracy and our culture? I believe that teaching, research, and service belong together. It's very difficult, in fact, to do one without doing the other two. In addition, Penn State faculty took leadership to a new level in national and international organizations. Penn State material science faculty ranked first internationally in the number of research citation and productivity. Penn State faculty members are leaders of national and international organizations. In our work with Kimberly Clark, we developed an industrial strength optimization based analytics for the processes from the marketplace to production. Penn State Hershey Cancer Institute is a leader in the integration of research and patient care. Penn State Hershey Medical Center's new emergency department model of care was created in collaboration with Penn State's Colleges of Engineering and Information Sciences and Technology. Since the system was re-engineered, patient access has improved remarkably. Patient satisfaction scores have skyrocketed. And Penn State Hershey has become more widely recognized as an innovator in healthcare integrated delivery. And Penn Staters have brought the visual and performing arts to audiences around the globe. Theater faculty and students took their art to over a dozen countries, including China, South Korea, Japan, and Taiwan. And at home, we presented a historic Romeo and Juliet on the grounds of the Hintz Alumni Center. The, the conclusion almost seems foregone at the beginning. Of Since the our day. founding, Penn State faculty day. members have been shaping the lives of students who live, study, and work on Penn State campuses across the Commonwealth. A teacher's impact is immeasurable, but the extraordinary results can be found in the more than half a million living Penn State alumni around the world. As teachers, scholars, and researchers, the state of the university faculty is... Entrepreneurial. Diverse. Brilliant. Committed. Hardworking. We are... We are... Leaders. We are... Penn State. We are... We are... Penn State. We are... Penn State. We are... Penn State. This video focuses on Penn State staff. Penn State's 46,000 full and part-time employees play a vital role in every aspect of Penn State's mission. And we're very fortunate to have such dedicated and enthusiastic people. Even in challenging years, Penn State pride among staff remains high. This is the State of the University staff. Last year, we collected 275 tons of leaves and we maintained 17,000 parking spaces, 32 miles of paved roads, and 25 miles of sidewalks, even in the most unexpected weather conditions. 
Last year, I cared for cows that produced three million pounds of milk. Which I served to thousands of students. We baked over one million cookies last year alone. And I helped eat them. Mm-hmm, you are good. Mm -hmm. Penn State is among the largest employers in the Commonwealth, and we directly impact one out of every two households in the state. You'll find cooperative extension educators in Pennsylvania's 67 counties. They're offering practical how-to education and problem-solving assistance based on university research. Penn State Milton S. Hershey Medical Center provides state-of-the-art care to 850,000 outpatient visits and nearly 27,000 inpatient admissions every year. The World Campus delivers more than 70 degree and certificate programs to over 8,000 students, including military personnel overseas. In addition, Penn State staff members have taken a proactive role in making our campuses more diverse, sustainable, and student-centered. We are committed to ensuring that Penn State not only reflects the changing demographics of our society, but that we promote the kinds of values that ensure the academic success of such a diverse population. We are green. Since 2005, Penn State has added one million square feet of new building space. In that same time frame, we have reduced our usage of electricity by 5%, and we have reduced our greenhouse gas emissions by 12%. Our goal is to cut that in half again by the year 2012. We are committed to service. Last year, Penn State staff donated thousands of hours to community organizations, including the United Way, Habitat for Humanity, Alpha Fire Company, the State College Area School District, Women's Resource Center, and Center Volunteers in Medicine. Each year, those efforts add up to more than $130 million in charitable donations and volunteer services within Pennsylvania. Penn Staters are responding with great enthusiasm to For the Future, the campaign for Penn State students. Our alumni and friends want to see Penn State be the most student-centered research university in America. And this past year, they gave more than $203 million, setting a new record for annual gifts. Penn State employees are dedicated to Penn State's mission, and they are also dedicated to supporting one another. This positive work culture has created loyal, long-term employees and lasting job satisfaction. This year, Penn State Hillel received Hillel International's Great Place to Work Award in recognition of the organization as an outstanding model in the field for staff culture and professional development. When I came here 60 years ago, you know, I was a liberal arts graduate who came here with the idea he was only going to be here for a year or two till he paid off some student loans he had and go back to court and be a lawyer. And I get caught up with the fact that this was a great university. I have worked at Penn State for 24 years as a faculty member and administrator. During that time, I have experienced the pride and spirit of Penn State staff and seen the efforts to create a more student-centered university, which is evident everywhere you look. When I was a young boy, I always wanted to be part of something grand, you know, just wanted to be respected and be able to contribute. And Penn State's answered every emotion I ever had about that. It's, it's really, uh, it's a wonderful place. From offices to the dairy barns, from labs to the gardens, the State of the University staff is stronger than ever. We are. We are. We are Penn State. We are loyal leaders, early risers, a family, extraordinarily talented, worldwide, energetic, hardworking, wonderful. We are. We are Penn State. Penn State. Penn State. Penn State. This video focuses on Penn State's alumni. Every day I was on this campus, I felt blessed. I loved this place. I loved this campus. I loved everything about it. 
I grew up in a small town. I went to a small high school. And Penn State opened my eyes as to diversity of individuals and relationships with individuals, how to work and how to get along with other people, how to deal with other people. If you go to school here, you bleed blue and white. Everything in your heart is Penn State. And if I could do this all over again, I would do it tomorrow. <laughs> I loved being at Penn State University. I loved the campus, I loved my classes, I liked the people, like the faculty. I really did enjoy it. Penn State pride means to me the opening words of the last stanza of the alma mater. May no act of ours bring shame to one heart that loves thy name. <laughs> Penn State has the largest dues-paying alumni association in the world. And an award-winning alumni magazine to showcase our ambitions. If it feels like you meet Penn State alumni everywhere you go, that's because our alumni are living and working in all 50 states and in 162 countries. You might even find a Penn Stater out of this world. I tell people all the time that Penn State was the uh, launch pad for me and a very exciting career. One out of every 117 Americans with a college degree is a graduate of Penn State. Regardless of where we have gone, my wife and I, we run into Penn State people. We've been in Paris, walking down the street, coming toward us, somebody says, we are, and stops us, hey, you're Penn State? And I had a Penn State, he said, yeah, how you doing? In Pennsylvania alone, Penn State alumni generate $2 billion annually in economic impact through tax revenue and more than 17,000 Penn State alumni-owned businesses. From technology startups, to blue chip companies, to public service, to sports, to the creative and performing arts, Penn State alumni are innovators and leaders. What I took away from the university is to literally reach for the stars and aspire to do greater things and to learn from any experiences that didn't enable you to succeed the first time so that the next time around you can succeed. I got elected president of the entire undergraduate student government and that was just a very eye-opening experience for me. All of those things were both the personification of my studies as a political science major and black studies minor and also tremendously prepared me for the career that I've had to date. My exposure to a larger, more diverse experience, particularly on this campus, you know, made me fearless. <laughs> you know, it just said, okay, you can do this. You know, you can really do this. Beyond their individual successes, Penn State alumni are distinguished by their desire to give back to their communities and alma mater. Their blue and white spirit is legendary, and they are a driving force behind Penn State's largest philanthropic campaign ever, For the Future, the Campaign for Penn State Students. Penn State has made it possible for hundreds of thousands of individuals to sustain their families, advance their professions, and contribute to our country's strength. Penn State in the past has educated a large number of first-generation college students. Um, I can put myself uh, in, in that category. We all take great pride, all of us from Penn State, in, in driving that, enhancing it, and ensuring that the next generation of Penn State students continue to grow. I'm enormously proud of our Penn State alumni. They serve us in many ways, as trustees, as on advisory boards. Indeed, they show up as lecturers in our classrooms. Their service is valued by all of us, and it makes me proud to be a Penn Stater. Penn State alumni have established many of Penn State's most enduring traditions. But our most important tradition has been in place from the very beginning, offering an extraordinary education to students whose means might be limited, but whose ability and ambition are limitless. We are enriched by our alumni. We are. Penn State. <laughs> we are. We are. We are the greatest. We're Penn State proud. We are an institution 
that prides itself by its integrity and by its caring and its sense of community. And that's what gives us our Penn State pride. What it means is just being incredibly proud of having gone to this university, hopefully contributed some things while I was here, but also receiving so much in return. We are leaders. We are innovators. We are proud of our institution and its graduates. We are the best. We are Penn State forever. <laughs> Passionate, loyal, active, engaged, concerned, generous. We are global and it is so awesome. Everywhere you go, there are people who went to Penn State. We are Penn, Penn State. State. <laughs> we are Penn State.